Welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of the fourth expansion for the GMT Panzer series, The German Invasion of France, 1940. This is by James, designed by James M. Day, Fernando Solo Ramos. And we're going to take a take a look here. Mine got a little, little dinged up, just slightly crushed in shipping. But it's all good. So this brings not only the Panzer series to the Western Front, uh, but it also adds some solo scenarios to the mix, which I understand are pretty, pretty excellent. Uh, and they released an, a rewrite of one of the two-player scenarios as a solo scenario too, and hopefully people are going to learn how to do that and repackage the whole game, or not repackage the whole game, but um, uh, revisit the game as a solo solo friendly title. Um, this just released a few weeks ago from GMT. Uh, the base game and the three other expansions are out of print. You can find them in the aftermarket, so you may look for that um, if you can. Uh, otherwise, they're, they're all four on P500 right now uh, for a new printing, but you know the wheels of P500 do move kind of slow. So if you want to get into this, uh, you're going to have to find you at least the base copy. You do not need um, any of the expansions to play the other expansions. So you just need the base game and an expansion, or just the base game. But we're talking about Panzer IV right now. So. All right, so what comes in it? We get bags, a roll of bags. We did not get a bag of bags this time. You get two stacks here of unit reference cards for the new units in the game. One of which is already kind of like self-open. See the box here got a little dinged up, but again, that's not a crisis. Anyway, so again, nice, heavy, thick chipboard for the units. Reference cards for the new units, again, added to the game. You won't need the others. There's some new German units you get. And then we got some French units, which are new to the series. The R40. H35, R35, H39, H38, the UE, S35, Armor 33, Artillery, Squads, Half Squads and Sections, and Artillery. So you get those reference cards, so that's awesome. Then we get the Panzer IV France 1940 Playbook. This is going to be your scenarios, of which there are find the index here. The scenarios, there are 12. And there's a whole section here, 10.0, on solitaire rules. So you've got, looks to be about 14 pages of solitaire rules to add to the mix. So that is, that is going to be awesome. So I've heard good things about the solo in this. So you get a big playbook. The playbook is full color. Lots of examples. There's your order of battle for each mission. Uh, it would be nice if the scenarios maybe came on card stock instead of in a book. Uh, I wish they would start doing that with most of their games for scenarios. Because then you don't have to have this whole book laid out. You can just bring the card out. Okay, so it comes in at 68 pages. Then we've got the T-O-N-E booklet for the expansion. So that's helpful. And that comes in at 24 pages. Again, full color as always. And then you get one of the things about uh, Panzer is you got the basic map board in the base game, but then you've got the expansions come these long. They're about 27 inches by 10 inches uh, geomorphic map boards that you then stack and connect with one another. Now they say you can connect them in any way, but I hope that they don't connect too many going this way because that would be very long maps, but we will see what the scenarios call for. But uh, certainly stacking two or three vertically would not be that big a deal. So there's Monteville. They are double-sided. So here's a here's a massive, I assume, hill. These are elevation changes, I would guess. So that's pretty cool. Or desert arid areas. We'll find out here in a second. All right. So you get 
maybe you get four of these mat boards. And then the counters, you get four counter sheets in the expansion. You get the one inch vehicle counters. And then looks like we have uh, leaders or commanders. They're also one inch, whereas the squads and stuff are normally the uh, 9 sixteenths. Issue those thick, thick uh, counters, but perfectly roundable with the Oregon Laminations 2.5 millimeter deluxe corner rounder. One size for every counter, half inch up. And then so you get four sheets. This is the German forces. The new ones that have been added. You get some more uh, French and German forces, some more leaders, commanders. Uh, I've got some American forces here. American commanders, anyway. And I didn't see any American American uh, uh, vehicles, so we're assisting. Uh, I guess in 1940, that's what we would have been doing because we didn't move into the war yet, but I guess we were providing assistance. Um, and then we've got our uh, squads and half squad counters here as well. Some new Germans, got the French ones, some more French artillery, and then some, uh, some new control markers, uh, turret markers, damage markers, turn markers, things like that, victory points, so on and so forth. So again, you need, this is an expansion to the Panzer base game, which unfortunately right now is out of print. You may have to find a copy, but if you pick this up, then this is what you will get. Four sheets of counters, thick, thick counters, four geomorphic double-sided bat, mat boards, a TONE booklet for the France 1940 units, a playbook, unit reference cards, and some bags. And that is what comes in the box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!